A real man in the dark, when nobody's watching, he's putting in work. Because he loves the process. No pain lasts always. No pain. Ain't nobody gonna hand you nothing. Ain't nobody gonna hand you no championship. Ain't nobody gonna hand you no title. Be phenomenal or be forgotten. Now more than ever. So you gotta be hungry now. You can't just casually walk around. Well, I'll get to you later. Right? Oh no, no, this is a new day right now. We tired of the 60% you. So whatever you gotta do, you do it. You here, do something. So whatever you gotta do, you do it. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy back with Abdul Aesthetics, and I'm here with this guy. We are on our way to get some sushi because some people can't control themselves. That's some people. Anyway, we're heading to uh, Mount Pleasant. We did cardio and abs earlier today, and uh, when we finish this, we're gonna come back and do arms because I got legs tomorrow with my papa. So, uh, yeah. We're gonna see you at the restaurant. She don't have her seatbelt on while we drive, and she's irresponsible. And you see, I got my seatbelt on. I just can't teach nobody nothing. What do you got to say for yourself? Don't curse. Eek. Yeah, okay. We getting sushi, man. We getting sushi. I'm gonna get the. Uh, Right here. Let me get three of those. We're gonna see what that hit for. What are you getting? Water coming. Alright, man, I got this uh, sushi. It's called the Crunchy Roll. It's really good. I don't know what that is, but it also looks good. And we might put the mash on this. I don't know why she's recording like she's putting it somewhere. Anyway. Damn. We heading to the gym now, man. She doing legs, I doing arms. That kid is bad as fuck. And um, but take my pre-workout. You already know what it is with this. Scoop of that pottery deliciousness. Running low. And I'm gonna take this fat burner again. I took this early this morning when I went to do my cardio. And I'm, you know, you're supposed to take it twice a day. So I'm gonna take this as well. Um, funnel down there. No, the funnel back in. Boom, 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 boom. All right, we'll see you at the gym. Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm warming up with the, uh, I believe that's either the 20s or the 30s, I can't really remember. I, um, I like to do this exercise called 28s. It's basically why I do hammer curls instead of traditional curls. I do hammer curls. Um, 10 each arm, and then once I do 10 on each arm, I superset it, basically supersetting it with a, you know, two arm hammer curls for eight reps. And doing that for about two sets with the same weight, that really gets the muscle, you know, pumped up and ready to go. Um, and basically that was my warm up, like I said. So I did, I did about two more sets. I did one more set of warm up. I don't think I recorded it. Excuse me, but I did the same movement just with heavier weights. I did, um, man, how many sets? I think I did four sets total. Four sets, four or five sets total. And I mean, it was pumped. The pump I had was just ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? So basically, everything after this was uh, extra credit. <laughs> yeah, see, here it is. I'm doing it one more time. I like to do hammer curls versus traditional curls just because it's just I get a better pump doing it that way you know traditional curls are good but mainly only for the straight bar in my humble
here I'm doing straight bar curls at the squat rack um, another great exercise for building your biceps um, I can't I can't really curl no more than 135 which is pretty much what most people bench so yeah I'm pretty strong <laughs> not to brag anything like that but I did three sets I did three sets total if you count the warm-up set I did one set um, of no weight on the bar I did uh, the first set was the 25s on each side I did that for about 10 to 12 and right now I'm doing the 35s on each side for a set of eight I believe and this is the 145 right here um, I got as much as I could I think I got about five good ones um, you know tried to go for six but I was like nah fuck that <laughs> and uh yeah and here we go with the traditional curls um I think I did about three to four sets of 12 for these um like I said after the first set of uh of uh, hammer curls everything else was just extra credit when I was working on biceps but still you gotta get that pump going um you gotta keep your uh your arms stationary try to only use your biceps for the movement i know a lot of people they jump to the big boy weights without focusing on the basics and they swing and arch their back and do all this crazy shit you don't need to do any of that man if you if you do the research and you do it the right way you know form builds muscle more than any you know heavyweight could in my humble opinion of course even if you're doing it wrong heavyweights will build muscle but if you want to get the most out of that workout, like if you want to get the most out of that set, like 110%, you, you know, practice your good form. And, I mean, everything else will just be second nature from that point on. Okay, what I'm doing here, um, I like to call these cable curls. They're not traditional cable curls. But I saw Ronnie Coleman do this a lot back in the past, so I decided, hey, why not implement it into my own regimen? And, um... You know, I did three sets of this. Uh, the key with this is to keep your arms stationary and try to just move your forearms and your fists closer to your head. And, uh, you know, form is everything like everything I do. And, you know, you want to focus on the form more so than the weight. You know, you're going to hear me say that a lot in these uh, voiceovers. So, you know, might as well get familiar with it. And I ended my bicep portion of the workout with some pull-ups. Uh, usually I either start or finish with pull-ups because there's really no in-between kind of throws everything off in my humble opinion and here we're moving on to triceps I'm doing the close grip on the uh, incline bench close grip bench on the incline both of the flat benches were taken which is usually what I would do this movement on but I mean it didn't do me any difference so I mean it is what it is the warm-up set really focusing on uh, getting the triceps warmed up and ready for the whole movement and this is the working set right here with a 135. I did two more sets of this. I don't think I recorded it though. I did two more sets, four sets total. And, you know, of course, focusing on form. And we move right into pull downs. A lot of people do pull downs and they don't do them the correct way. Uh, they swing their arms up and down. You just really have to keep like your starting point. If you see where I'm at. Um, you keep your elbows in the same spot. Notice my elbows don't move at all until I'm finished with the movement. You keep your elbows in the same spot and you just move your forearm up and down and you squeeze, don't lock out, but you get a nice good squeeze in your tricep and you'll feel it more because if you're doing it wrong, you'll feel it more in your elbows than your tricep itself. Form, of course, is everything. And we're moving on to the uh, close, uh, I, I believe, what do you call this? You know, uh, uh, close hand I don't I don't know it's not traditional push-ups but I mean I bring my hands in closer than the regular push-ups and I push instead of keeping my hand flat on the ground I push off with my uh, the base of my palm to feel it more in my triceps it just I don't know why that is but I feel it more in my triceps when I push with the base of my palm give it a shot you might like it and we're gonna close it out the whole thing with some uh, tricep extensions with the weights um, pretty much I did uh, three sets of this and on both sides uh, usually you'll see people do this with two hands I don't like doing it with two hands because that means you gotta grab like some heavy ass weight and I just don't trust that much weight behind my back if I can't control it fully so you know that's pretty much what I did for this one
we just come to Mars, man. We we trying to get some pizza, man. You hear me? Some goddamn pizza, man. Shit. Yeah, mini pizza, see? 497, look at that. I'm about to mash that mini up. Yeah, so. I got a bunch of swine and veggies on my pizza. She just got a lot of veggies. This is most likely gonna be the last thing I eat today. Yeah, me too. She's a fatty, so it might be the, you know. Shut up. Kobe. It's uh, you know, a small, a small portion of pizza, so it's not too out of control. You, you can still eat things that you like to eat, just in very small quantities. Like you know, instead of getting the extra large pizza pepperoni, you know what I'm saying? Get the shit I got, the small, with ass shit on it. You know what I mean? Trying to rationalize, but anyway, like, share, comment, subscribe, man, all those things. Until next time.